There she is, you guys. There's the ship. Normally you drop your bags off there. There's porters. If you check your bags, they take them. You have luggage tags and all that. Like I said, I'm just taking mine on. Also, you do like leave them a little tip. It's nice. Some dollars per bag, you know. So excited. I just can't wait. <sighs> just going on a cruise <laughs> in Miami. Oh my gosh. Wait until you hear how much this cruise costs. Okay, 10.56. I was so sad when I saw Zarya's name on the boarding pass. 10.59 a.m. on the gangway, or the gongway. It's a long one. Look, look, look. <laughs> I'm so excited, but also so sad because everybody's like, hey, so you have another person, where are they? And I'm just like, it took me 17 days of work to prepare myself to be here alone, so don't trigger me, no. <laughs> look how beautiful. The MSC Magnifica. There's a carnival there. I can't see which one it is. There was also a Royal Caribbean. I believe it was a Navigator of the Seas. Oh, beautiful. So you guys, I booked a guarantee inside, just so you know, because it was the cheapest. When I looked at the app, like two days after I booked it, which was 17 days ago, I noticed that I got an upgrade. Oh my God, we're about to, we're about to make it on the ship, guys. Ah, we're about to do it. I just made it through, scanned my barcode. I had to be like, just one, just me. But here we are. Oh, yes, we're embarking today. Ah, so excited. We're on the ship. Welcome on board. Hi. Thank you so much. So as soon as I got in, they gave me like a paper that said, welcome on board. I'm just lugging myself around. And he says, what cabin number are you in? They're asking everyone. And I, I showed him and he directed me how to get there and said I could drop my stuff off. Oh, look. So pretty, oh my god. I love this. I, I'm just like in shock, I just can't believe I'm really here. Anyway, he said I could go drop off my stuff, freshen up, but then vacate the cabin because we're still cleaning them and the buffet opens in 30 minutes. So it's actually perfect. We get to go see our upgrade cabin. Mm -hmm. We're on deck seven. That's where we came in at. And I'm going to deck 10. That's where the cabin is. It smells like a cruise ship. Okay, so I'm going to 10225. It's the back of the ship. So I believe it is this way. I am going to the very end of the ship. The room we're getting, I'm getting, is a balcony. Yes, it was enough, right? I paid for an inside, okay? And it's 10225. So we're gonna go around the corner. This is 10189 here on the right. I go to the bathroom and freshen up and go get some food. Oh, all the way in the back. We're almost, let's see, 10197. Here's the very back elevators. I'm telling you, this is all the way to the back, which is also very cool. I was not expecting ever to get an upgrade. They put your cabin keys on the outside of your door here. Here we go, guys. Our free upgrade balcony cabin. Ah, I can't, okay, I just can't believe this. I absolutely, positively cannot believe this. <laughs> Oh my God, wow. Okay, I'm gonna turn this TV off. I really like how they directed us straight to our rooms. Usually rooms are rated to one, 132. Some cruise lines like Carnival, they have faster the fun where you actually pay to be able to access your rooms a little earlier. Tried that once, it was, it was cool. Oh my God, this is amazing. I know I'm supposed to leave the room. So I just went to the bathroom, washed up. Now I'm gonna go and look for food, but I just wanted to check in with you guys for a minute because the whole morning has been like, I mean, I know you're watching this video and it's like smooth and it has been perfectly smooth, oh. but it's also like, you know, it's like go, 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 go. Besides riding on the train and having time to relax, the other parts, you know, is a little chaotic, not in a bad way, just busy. So I just wanted to just like, okay, I'm here. I feel like make sure I told you guys everything you need to know. We're on the MSC Magnifica. The price was super. I'm gonna talk to you guys about that maybe at lunchtime. This is my balcony cabin. Zara was supposed to be here. I even have a card for him. Now, that's another story we have to talk about because some people actually do this on purpose to get like a better deal to sail solo. Was not the case with me. I almost was like, okay, I'm not even gonna go on the cruise. And he's like, no, 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 no. You have to go on this cruise. But um, I'm gonna put his card in my bag just because I'll have two cards and I'm just gonna leave this there. I'm gonna leave my suitcase there. I'm gonna take my phone and my camera and go get something to eat. I almost forgot, I always turn the air up or down. Make it cold as possible for when I come back later. Cause yeah, I want to be nice and neat. Let's go find the buffet. I'm hot, I'm gonna be out on deck. I did just stick my hair up real quick. <laughs> it's just, it's so hot, okay? It's so hot. 
I mean, it's not like that hot, but it kind of is with the hair. All right, my room is just there past that little vacuum thing. This is the very aft elevators. I do know this. Okay, we're at the back of the ship. Um, I feel like on the back of the ship is where usually buffets and stuff are. So let's see, cafeteria on 13. This is a Mediterranean ship. It is the only private cruise line, privately owned, which is really cool. I have been on MSC before. I've been on the seaside. I've been on the Davina multiple times, two, maybe three, but I haven't been on this ship. And I do like MSC. There are some things about it, but I like it. I smell food. Lunch open, 11.30 to 3.30, and it is 11.20 almost. What we're gonna do, since we have 10 minutes, is we're going to go up top and check out the view, okay? Just wanna see some more ships, that's what I wanna see. I wanna see what ships report with us today. It's a Monday, so there are some empty berths. I saw the sign that it goes to 16, but this one only goes to 14. Um, so it's just one up, so we're gonna see where it goes. But. So, one floor up, floor 14. Let's see what there is. Let's see. Teen disco or a disco, bowling, underwater world, playroom, children's pool and games, a tennis. Let's go out here. Okay, so I, you saw me. I literally just went up one floor to 14 because that's as high as the elevator would go. Here we are, just stepped right through the doors here. And we are on 14. <sighs> I can't believe I'm on a cruise ship. I mean, wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy. This is blocked off. You can go this way, but I want to go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go up. Guys, if you've been watching my channel all these years or even years at all, you know I had extreme panic, anxiety. Um, I think on my last cruise two years ago, I told you I just went off of anxiety medicine. I haven't been back on, been doing great, uh, but cruising solo was one of my biggest fears in my whole world. I know that sounds crazy because I've been on almost 50 cruises, but I've never traveled alone and I just had fears in my head. So I'm glad you guys are with me, but I'm just doing super. I'm super excited. There's like no fear. I mean, there was, but there's not. It's just excitement and uh, exhilaration. <laughs> but look, look at this view, guys. And all I did was just go up one flight of stairs. There's still another one. There's also a ship over there. We're gonna go see what ship that is. It's a Royal Caribbean. Ooh, wouldn't it be cool if we get to go down to the end of the port, do a little turn, and then come back for the scenic view when we leave today? It's so crazy because I'm on the ship and it's my happy place. Like I already know the ships are my happy place and the open water and cruise ships and cruising. I don't know how I can have such a fear built up against something that I love so much. It's such a journey for me and I'm really glad you guys are all here with me today. I appreciate and love all of you guys. I just walked from right here to right here. It's very windy, so it's difficult filming. I feel like if I turn around, you're not gonna be able to hear me. So I just wanna show you behind me how cool the seating area and view is but there probably won't be any talking this looks like the highest deck to the sports court i see the netting up there uh, i'm about to go down the stairs again once again let's go behind these wind barriers i just walked from that little area which is the very back of the ship okay aft i cannot wait to explore this entire ship <sighs> oh my gosh right now we're gonna eat okay there's just so much to do i can't even stand it all right just gonna head through here it says children's playroom but i'm not sure if it's how you get to the elevators or the inside i think but we can check it out look baby club under three years old nope no elevators it's just the kids area but look now we gotta see it okay ah i'm stuck that's where we need to go in. <laughs> Look at this, been on the ship for like less than 30 minutes and already getting lost. Nah, it's not that big. It'll be all good. We're doing a little exploring. Here's my dad was hey, taking the scenic route. <laughs> Next door, what is this? Oh, dude, I don't even have to get back to the food. Look, it's an indoor pool. Oh, it's warm in here. Hot tub, pool, a bar. I don't have the drink package or anything. Just sharing that. Gosh, how do we get to the food? I feel like it's back this way, but <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of dead ends. Oh, here we go. Elevator bank. All right, that was fun. I smell food. Wait, it's not an elevator bank. Let's just go down. I forgot we're on 14 and down one deck is the food. Yeah, directly down here is the uh, Sahara cafeteria. I'm so hungry. <gasps> oh, I hope you guys are hungry too. I'm just gonna start up here. Fresh fruit, you guys. They look delicious. 
and the salads. Mmm, those croutons. Look at that chicken salad. It looks delicious. And so does that egg salad and that tuna salad. Wow, actually all this stuff looks really good. I really do enjoy the food on MSC cruises. I'm gonna head back here and see what we have. There's like, it doesn't feel like that many people on the ship, but it's still early. There's a drink station. This is the grill. I see hot dogs, fried shrimp, cold cuts and cheeses, soup of the day, daily specials, carving, dessert, and fruit. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good lunch. I am down here at desserts now, so let's show you those. Oh, Cheerio rice crispy treats, flesh and work. Wow. This is nice. I like it a lot. Let's go. This is slow roasted pork shoulder with roasted sweet potatoes and onions. Oh, it looks so good. This is cilantro chicken, green beans, and look, lamb. I don't like lamb, but that looks very good. Soy salmon looks very good. And then rice and veggies and ziti pasta. I don't know, you know how I'm gonna like everything, so I just usually get a little, a lot of, a little, a lots of different little things. <laughs> I'm gonna go down to this bar now. Mm, I do like the salads. And look, ramen noodle salad. See, I just don't care for ginger, but it just looks so good, I just have to try it. Hopefully it's not too gingery. I'm trying to just get a little on the spoon and it's almost impossible. <laughs> that didn't work very well. There, that way I can just see how it tastes. Ooh, Hungarian salami. Don't mind if I do, these songs are weird. This is tomato mozz, but these are all little tomatoes and I know that I'm gonna like this. Ooh. I want some of this for sure. Soft smoked Gouda. Don't mind if I do. Oh my God, brand grapes. This is why I like MSC. You know me and food. <laughs> I do like the Mediterranean shirts. Arugula salad mm, with Parmesan and tomato. Yes. There's smoked turkey, loaded hummus, lemon, garlic, cucumber, tomato, onion, olives, parsley, and olive oil. I'm definitely gonna be getting some of that. I have the nice pita chips to go with it and look at these veggies and salads. Oh, and soup. Yeah, I got a, a beer. It's like eight or nine dollars. It's expensive, but I just want one. I was, I just want one. <laughs> That's all there's to it. I want to try the chicken salad. That's why I'm here. And I know it's weird, but some of these croutons, like I want an actual salad, but <laughs> these tongs are so hard. Oh, the chicken salad just looks so good. There we go. Ooh, it's land on my pasta. The other thing I haven't been able to find are silverware. So we're gonna look for some of those and a table. It's very warm in here, so it'd be nice. Sometimes Lido's are really hot. It's nice to kind of find like a cool area where there's like a pocket of cold air, but I don't know if that's gonna happen right now. It's all good. I can't help but stop here and show you guys. Look at this pizza. There's a margarita pizza, pepperoni pizza, artichoke pizza with cream sauce. I'm gonna have a piece of this. Oh my goodness, it looks delicious. Um, just kind of lay that right there. And then a Hawaiian pizza. I do love pineapple on my pizza. Oh, they're making pizzas. This is cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so much pizza. But I'm gonna go to the table now. I feel some air back here. I'm telling you, like if you just move around do you find some cool air, it, it's usually a thing. All the tables are so big. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, back here is way less busy and it's much cooler and there's some smaller tables. Look how nice. I love this. I love it already so much. So far this is super. Crowds, non-existent. It is 11.45. I just uh, want to say cheers to all of you guys. I hope that all of you guys, if you want to cruise, you can cruise soon. We will hope some wishes and dreams come true. Cheers. I worked very hard to make this come true for myself this time and I'm very proud of myself. I've been through a lot of things with just the kids growing up, like the empty nest syndrome and stuff, stuff adjusting in my life. And <laughs> I've just been working. I've just been working and working and working. I deserve this vacation. I was scared. I was scared to come by myself. The kids are so busy working full time that it's hard. like, I just, they can't come. And I already knew, like, I want to go traveling. Like my mom, she was always traveling solo and she loved it. And like I said the, earlier, the call, the pull is just so strong. So blessed and happy to be here. And I want you guys to know that whatever you guys want to do, even if it seems impossible, you can actually do it. If I'm here right now, then anybody could be here right now. Trust me. Here is my food. My beer is delicious, by the way. We're going to see how much drink package costs later, just so I can give you guys, obviously, the information. This is neat. But right now, I love a little ball jar, salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's cool. You should totally do this. Like. 
if you're interested, you know, have a, an input. But here's my food. I got a nice variety of things. I, I totally want to try those Cheerio Rice Krispie treats. And that being said, look at my view. I can't this. Wow, I just can't believe it. I'm here. And I'm not scared at all. And I always thought I would be so scared and feel like lonely and stuck on a ship by myself. But it was just what I was thinking in my head. You gotta flip that stuff. We're gonna talk more about that later. I'm gonna enjoy my food now. And of course, I will tell you how things are as I you know, try them. First thing though, oh my God, so fresh. Oh my God, the mozzarella, the basil, the brie is so good. I don't eat the, the white part, but the brie is so good, okay. This is hummus. For a minute, I was dipping into it like it was chicken salad. I wanted chicken salad. This is chicken salad. I'm gonna eat it with a crouton. <laughs> Just cause it looks good. Mm. It's good, but it's a little like pasty, if you will. Yeah, pasty. I'm gonna do my salami and my um, smoked gouda in one bite, man. Cause I know I'm gonna love this. I know it. And then I stop as I get it close to my mouth. That salami is fragrant. I'm gonna take a little bite. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Mmm, I really do enjoy this a lot. So my favorite so far are the hummus, this, well, this, 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 mmm. Okay, plate two guys. There's some like fresh baked focaccia. They had other kind of breads. There's, they had nachos. I got a couple of nachos with a lot of stuff on them. <laughs> There's an eclair, I got some more of the brie. I think that's cheesecake. That is the Rice Krispie thing. And that's a piece of mozzarella from the salad, which was just so good I had to get more. Dude, you see the chunk of this fresh mozzarella? Okay, it was delicious. And the basil, mm. Okay, I finished lunch, it was delicious. The Cheerio Rice Krispie Bar was very good. Everything was really good, I really enjoyed it. I just checked on the prices for the drink packages because he was walking by. I glanced real quick, it's like $35 a person a day for the non-alcoholic, maybe $65 a person a day for alcoholics starting at. They have different tiers here on Demis, so you can check it out online. I think that, uh, you know, I'll just buy a few beers, maybe spend like $80 all week on alcohol instead of hundreds of dollars because I just want a beer here and there, yeah. But in case you're wondering about the alcohol packages, um, those are the prizes and we'll look more for that later. And also they do give them away for free sometimes when you're booking ahead of time, you have to look into that. But I think I'm gonna go back to my cabin, maybe put my bathing suit on and maybe go to the hot tub or pool real quick. It's only 12.42.